Hello? Do you mind if I do some filming? Hello? Would you mind getting out of the way? Please? Por favor? There's nothing out there. Thank you. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. I have not come up with a name for my channel yet, so uh, please bear with me. We'll just say hello and uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for, for subscribing down below. If you could subscribe, that would mean a whole heck of a lot to me. Really appreciate that. I wanted to tell you about a, a cool documentary uh, that I found on Amazon Prime. It's been around for about 15 years now. It's called The Gits. That's G-I-T-S. It's about a, a lesser known uh, punk band uh, out of Seattle, kind of during that grunge uh, era time period when all those bands were coming out of there. Uh, it focuses on the lead singer who happens to be a, a young lady named Mia Zapata. It basically uh, chronicles the band as they uh, started to become uh, more well-known, uh, got on a label, started releasing albums, started to get more popular, and then out of nowhere Mia Zapata was murdered. And uh, whew, I tell you what, it's it's quite a, a tale. In fact, really overall the, uh, the movie itself, again on Amazon Prime if you want to check it out, kind of dark, uh, kind of a downer. Uh, but still uh, a very intriguing watch that uh, I highly suggest. Yeah, one of the most interesting parts in there that I that I thought was uh, kind of creepy was the fact that uh, the Gits had a song. Mia, of course, uh, wrote uh, all the uh, lyrics. There's a song called uh, Spear and Magic Helmet where the lyrics literally are like point blank she's singing about what ends up happening to her down the road when she is murdered. I don't want to give too much of the film away, but I just wanted to kind of highly suggest it to you. Uh, again, it's called The Gits, G-I-T-S. You can find it on Amazon Prime. It's from 2005. And one more thing that the movie did not touch on that I wanted to mention real quick is that uh, Mia Zapata was, if you were wondering, 27 years old when she was killed, just a couple of months shy of her 28th birthday. So uh, she is a member of the uh, infamous 27 Club, as you can uh, think of other artists that uh, died at the age of 27. Jimi Hendrix, I think, was one of them. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch. Uh, Janis Joplin, I'm pretty sure. Jim Morrison. And even more recently, the Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs, uh, as well, at the age of 27, uh, was found dead in his hotel room. So something kind of weird with that age of 27. Amy Winehouse was another one. Mia Zapata, also a member of the infamous 27 Club. So The Gits, G-I-T-S. I strongly suggest you check out this interesting documentary about a band that had some really cool music uh, that you can still obviously find and a very tragic, unfortunate uh, loss of, of their singer and songwriter, Mia Zapata. So that's all I got for now, but stick around this week. I'll be talking about the uh, upcoming uh, album releases coming out uh, this Friday as well. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you. Don't forget to subscribe down there. Later.